I'm Reri Dameri Junior, and I love Jesus Christ as my personal savior. Today we are reflecting on connecting. And for one to connect, one should be disconnect to connect. It is based on the letter of Philippians chapter 3, verse 8. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worthy of knowing Christ, Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage, that I may gain Christ. This is Paul. Before he was Paul, he was Saul. We remember very well, he persecuted the early church. And one day that he was heading to Jericho, the light shone from God. And he was called, and he answered, Here I am. And he stopped all what he was going to do in Damascus, forgot it totally. And he saw a great light. And there and then, he followed Jesus Christ. And he became very senior, and that is why we see he has written so many letters regarding that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He was a Jew, highly educated. He was senior in the religion of Judaism. He was most respected. And once he was connected with God, he forgot everything that was in his position. That is, he deprived all what he considered to be very valuable and followed Jesus Christ totally throughout his life. Likewise with us Christians, during this time of fasting, we should deprive most of what we like or love most. To have plenty of time in praying and fasting. Prayers bring people close to God. And God fills them with the Holy Spirit for, to feel any emptiness in them. The Holy Spirit of God, once you are disconnected with the world and all these others, will administer in your spirit and you will bear fruits. Let us be disconnected and be connected with God through prayers and fasting. Let us pray. My God and my Father in heaven, I pray for a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the church, bringing renewal and revival in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.